and welcome. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a portfolio. So if you're a creative, social media manager, content creator, um, graphic designer, or anything, like you could use the steps I used to create this portfolio to create yours using Canva. So um, the first thing you need to do is to go to your Microsoft Word and then type out everything. So a portfolio is like a summary of your work work um, work experience and skills so it's like a more detailed form of your or a more organized form of your cv okay so what i like to do first is use a microsoft word doc you can either use your cv or create another document to create your portfolio so the what your portfolio basically needs to contain is this things this eight things but you can have more than this but it's like the content, the basic content every portfolio needs to have. The cover page, your bio and contact information, your educational background, your services, your work experience, your skill set, your work samples, and then you close it. So that's basically it. So if, you, if I scroll down, you see that in every um, heading, I've put something on that. So in the cover page, this is what is going to be in the cover page. In the bio and contact, this is what is going to be in the education and license and all of that. I've actually created this video before, the, but there was a mistake in the recording. That's why I have to redo it. So I'm going to make it as quick as possible so you don't get bored and you also get value from this video. So um, let me just run through it before we go to Canva. So in the cover page, you need to write what your title is. I, like for me, I'm using my own title, social media, social media manager. <laughs> Social media manager and content creator. Sorry about that. Then on the second slide is going to be my bio and contact information. So what I did was that I actually put the contact information before the bio, but right here I just wrote it the other way around. So what you're trying to do is to just give an a brief bio about yourself. Like what I wrote here is hello, my name is Gracie Joshua. I am a dynamic and innovative social media manager and content creator with three years plus valuable experience managing multiple social media platforms for brands and projects. I've worked with various reputable brands in Africa, which has helped me gain deeper knowledge, skills, and expertise needed for my role. So basically, you just have to give a brief overview of your um, your role and your work experience that's for this so if you have like different roles let's say you have a social media management role and a graphic designer role you know that when you're writing your bio it should be specific so the one for um so the one for social media management you have a different portfolio and the graphic designer or a content creator you have different but I'm mixing both content creator and social media management together because they go hand in hand then in my contact info I have my email address here my linkedin url my phone number and it's always important to include your country code and also have my website if you don't have a website it's fine if you are a videographer or a um, or you have a site where you showcase your work, you can just put the website URL here. And then the next slide is your education and educational background and license. So if you have like here, for this is my educational background, and I just made this up anyway, but if you have a master's degree, you have a BSc degree, um, you have license, let's say, for here I wrote um, social media management and digital marketing, probably I have a certificate in this, and I got a distinction in from Udemy in 2019. I did not I did not actually do that. I just made this up for those that have licenses. So if you have like ICANN license, that's for accounting, you know, any specific license you have, you can just list it here and you actually have to arrange it in hierarchy. So the one that the one that that is recent has to be on top and the um, earlier one has to be below. So that's why it's like this. So it's good that if you have a if you came out with like first class or two one or a nice GPA, MCGPA, you should always you should mention it there. It's a plus, basically. Don't come here and write all the little little certificates that are not relevant to your portfolio. It's not necessary. So you just write, just put out what is necessary. If you don't have any license, you just have probably your master's degree and then your BSc degree. Just put it. You don't need to put too much. Then the next slide is services. Services are what you do, what you offer. So because I'm a social media manager and a videographer, but this my portfolio is just for social media management and content creation. So the services I render is social media management, content creation, blogging, social media sponsored ad, and graphic design. 
So that's basically, so you have to sit down to streamline what do you do. If you're a graphic designer, what kind of graphic design uh, services do you do? Do you do flyers, ebook, um, um, branding, you know, what, what not, just list them here. If you're a virtual assistant, what are those services, specific services you offer? So that's what, this is where you list them. And then in work experience, it's basically just giving an overview of your work. So what I did here was that, let me read it so you can hear. In my three years plus work experience in social media management, I have worked with these businesses. Now, when I say these, I'll explain why and when I'm when we are creating the um, the actual portfolio. So let's continue. In various industries with similar responsibilities that include but not limited to optimize social media accounts, develop and post original engaging content across all social media platforms that grew organic visibility, followership, and engagement between 30 to 50%. So what I did here is that I just explained this is how many experience I have. This is what I do. So you need to list your duties and responsibility. And if you're if you're in a particular role, you'll be able to um, be doing similar role. Like a social media manager, you know, in uh, almost all your roles, you create content, you do the management, you do customer service, you know, stuff like that. So you list out your experience, your duties and responsibilities, and also highlight your achievements, which is why I say all those things I did was able to grow organic um, visibility followership and engagement between 30 to 50 percent so if i've managed like for example four brands i've managed more than that but i'm just giving an answer what if if i've managed like four brands so probably one of them had like about 30 percent of this of these things some had 40 and some had 50 so that's basically what the work experience is and when you're creating a portfolio you should also in your work experience you need the logos of the brands you've worked with and probably a brief overview if necessary. If not, you could just leave it. But I'm going to get to that in a bit. Then for your skill set, you want to mention your soft skill and hard skill. And that's this soft skill are the skills you know how to do. Like these are the skills I know how to do as social media manager. These are not all. I just had to do a, a summary, like a lot of summary. So I said I have substantial skills in digital content creation, social media management, graphic design, video editing, communication leadership, EDC. These are all soft skills that I have. Um, as a social media manager and content creator then these are the tools i can use software and tools like canva who to facebook ad manager business suite photoshop you know just mention all the tools and software that you can use for that that's relevant to that particular particular um role then the next one you want to do is what you want the next thing you want to do is your work sample which is before and after it could be before and after it could be work samples of what you've done let's say if you've created content for social media management you should have like a sample of the content created. remember when I made a video about um, things you need to do when you start um, social media, when you start managing a social media manage, when you start managing a page on social media, so if you took a screenshot of the engagement, the analytics, you know all those important things, how the page was looking before you optimize it, you can use it as your before and after. Okay, this is how the page was looking before I optimized it, and this is how it's looking after I optimized it, and this is the kind of content I created for this brand. So you can do screenshots of the page then make it look more appealing just to have an overview. So the work samples can come in before and after. can also come in the real samples of um, the content you create. If you can create slides, if you can create carousel, just find a way to depict it, which I'm going to be showing you in a bit. And in the closing, you just say thank you, and then you put in your contact information. So that's basically what your, um, create your portfolio is supposed to look like. And we're going to go to Canva now. I already created this. Like I said earlier, I had created it already and I don't know what happened. It didn't save, so that's why I had to make this video again. Right, so um, this template is called Black and White Minimalist Photography Online Portfolio. Now, if you go home, you can type here Creative Portfolio. There are different kind of portfolio you can choose from. If you even search for portfolio, you see um, creative portfolio, student portfolio, online portfolio, like different portfolio. But the one I used was creative portfolio. I use a creative portfolio and you see a lot to choose from. And all these templates are editable from color to text to picture, everything to elements. They are all editable. So I use this particular one and this is what it looks like. And this is the text that was accompanied with. And this is the color style on it. I didn't change the color. You can change the color. Like this is black. You can change it to maybe you have a brand color you can change it to whatever you like but for me i'm going to leave it the way it was before because i like it so this is my front page and just the heading portfolio this is my name and this is the role so this is the front page and uh, so you need to just write your name and then the role 
Then the second page, you need a picture of yourself. Put an appropriate picture. Let me enlarge this so that you can see clearly. So put an appropriate appropriate picture of yourself. Don't do selfie. Don't just go to the go to the photographer and get a nice portrait of yourself. Smile, look very nice, look presentable, wear something beautiful, and then you need that picture for your portfolio. It won't be good for your DP. And here in the contact section, I have my email, my phone number, my LinkedIn LinkedIn URL, and then my website. So that's basically which are daily typed. Here. I really type it here, so I just copied and pasted it. So when you type it here, it makes it easier for you to create your portfolio. Then about me, I you know I already explained that I just wrote this heading and you know this, and I use this yellow as the heading because it looks nice. So yeah, you can just tweak it to make it more stand out and more be more pronounced. I didn't change any other thing here, I just changed the color, the text. And the text size, every other thing looks pretty much the same. If you can see this, how this one looks like, so you can change any you can change it to watch anything more like now if you see this picture i can delete it right you see this one i can delete it so just you know you can delete anything you want see delete right so that's it for this page and then this is the next page which is education i put this um looking like you know graduate and all this like a graduation cap the globe and then the books and I, I this is my education educational background i don't have this i do not have this i just wrote it for um license i wanted to write my master's um my master's um stuff here but i'm like let me just use this just in case somebody has like a license or a certification so you can be able to understand how to place it and this is my bsc degree which is below this one came 2019 and this was 2014 to 2018 so i have them here and it looks so nice and then on the next page i have services so on services what i do what i did was that instead of just listing it the way it is here so in this services see the way i listed it like this i decided to go to the element and search i searched let's say for for social media management now i went to search for social media management and look for an icon so this is the one i picked i just looked for an icon that depicts social media social media man <laughs> social media management i'm sorry and then for content creation i go here and i type content creation and I look for an icon and I saw this icon and like there are lots of icons to choose from, especially if you are on the pro version. Now, please, um, this my Canva is actually a pro version. If you're using a free version, you may have limited um, elements and resources, but this is a pro version. You should try it. They have this um, link where you could, you know, have like 30 days free trial before you pay. And besides, the Canva Pro for a, for a month is not all that much, especially if you're using it often. So I think it's between... Um, I think four thousand, five thousand jira, but I can't remember. But it's not up to six, seven thousand. And but with the dollar rate and all, I really don't know. But I'm sure if you find it valuable. It's actually worth it. Then for blogging, I came, did the same thing, search for blogging, and it brought out this. You know, it has a lot, and I just picked out. So you you get the drift. So pick out the icon to make it more interesting. Pick out the icon that depicts your um your services, what you do. And then just put the icon and then label them appropriately. Like you see, this is blogging, this is social media sponsored ads, and this is graphic design. So just make it look this, make um get an icon from the elements palette, and then you know this is not a graphic, um, this is not a Canva design class. So that's why I'm not really breaking it, breaking it down. I believe that you know how to use Canva, so that's why I'm just making this video. But if you don't know how to use Canva, I'm going to leave the link on the description. There's a course that. I created in collaboration with um, the Techie Train, Techie Train Academy. So you can take the course to have a detailed overview on how to use Canva from start to finish. Okay. And then the next slide is my work experience, which I already just typed. Um, I already typed in the um, here. I already have them here. I just copied and pasted it, which I've already explained before. So these are the icons I talked about when I said I worked with these businesses. So these are the businesses I've worked with. Now I got these logos from Canva. I've not worked. I don't know what they mean, but I just wanted to use them as an example. I've worked with close to um close or over. I've worked with like over ten brands. Yeah, I've worked with over ten brands, but I didn't have the time to start looking for their logo, uploading them, and putting them. So I just looked for these four brands and I just labeled them. 
so normally every logo should have like the company's name the name of the company so if you did not sign an nda where you can that's you can disclose the company that you work with fine but if you did you know you cannot put that here so what i did was that i put it i put the logos here so normally the logo is going to come with the company's um tag but this one didn't come with it but it's fine if it doesn't come with if you the logo you're using doesn't come with company tag you can just label it here the name of the company but what i did here was i labeled the industry which is construction industry this is finance industry this is education industry and this is fashion industry okay right so um that's basically what you need to do here just make sure if you're even working like what i like about this particular part is if you're trying to send this portfolio to maybe your, your social media manager or content creator or graphic designer or you or you're any creative that have a particular niche let's say your niche is education or your niche is health or your niche is fashion and then you've worked in like four or five fashion brands it would be easy for you to project it here so that it could give your prospect more idea that oh you actually have this you know your onion very well okay then the next slide this is a skill set where i explain the skill set so for your soft skill you don't necessarily need to put your soft skill here you can add your hard skills which is the tools the hard skills are the tools and software like canva photoshop google mg suit google analytics pixel app microsoft then business suite um you know all of that so you can just put all their logos here to just highlight if they are much you can always resize this all these things are editable they are movable so you don't need to worry like you can resize it make them big make them small and all of that so yes this is basically how it is the name of the the name of this template i don't know if i've mentioned it, but let me mention it again is black and white minimalist photography online portfolio so that's what i'm using for this design and when you see your own it may not be looking like this but remember you can change it you can change anything from the color to the text to the icons the element everything so this is what i just i just mentioned a little um tools that i can use these other ones they don't have it on canvas so i have to import them and i don't want to waste so much of your time importing them so yeah that's basically it then for work samples this is like this one actually came with it but you would want to screenshot and upload this like before and after let's say this is how the page was looking before the instagram page and then after this how it's looking like maybe you optimize the bio you change some colors you made it look more appealing and maybe another work you know i also explained work samples can also be how does your instagram um, um, post look like these are the content you've created these are slides these are carousel you know stuff like that just make a work sample your work sample can could be more than a page but I just made this a page so that because it's a tutorial but it can be more than a page you can duplicate the pages and make like up to how many pages you want to like showcase your work sample so you showcase your work, work sample so that your prospect can know what you're capable of doing and they can have an idea about what if you're a graphic designer you want to segment them into logos into like have a segment for logo have a page for um uh, ebooks have a page for books have a page for um, branding you know and all of that to make your um portfolio more organized and when you're done with that that's it yes we're done it's that easy yes i know so the, the thing is when you come here when you do this first step when you do this first step you won't find creating your portfolio hard or you just thank you and write your contact details so that they can contact you and um, we try any of this platform or check you out you know stuff like that so um creating a portfolio is not hard so i'm just going to um, make this big so that you can see how it looks like and I'm just going to go next, 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 and then we are done. So when you're done, I'm creating your portfolio. You click on share, and then you um download. And when you're downloading, you're downloading as a PDF, as a PDF standard. That's if you're obviously you're not printing, you'll be sharing it. So it's PDF standard. So you download it as PDF standard. If you download it as JPEG or PNG, it's going to come scattered. But when you download it as PDF, it comes all together. I hope you find this video helpful. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the um, comment section and I'll respond to them. See you in my next video. Bye.